I think that teacher collaboration is to share aims and to cooperate, to plan, to work together, to move towards as the same achievement. So work towards the same, the same achievement altogether. I think that there are a lot of benefits for both, a lot. Uh, there's more engaging and more motivating for both. And cross-curricular activities for students, uh, they raise the interest of the students because it's closer to real life and society. So reality is cross-curricular, business is cross-curricular, research also, uh, problems are cross-curriculum, so it's more, more close to the, to the situations that the students and society lives. For teachers, I think that it's a challenge to work in this way. It's a challenge that, that leads uh, them to a professional, professional enrichment. So in the beginning it's difficult, but then it's really, really very great for, the, for, for them. Uh, I think that STEM is maybe like the first step, or is the beginning um, to a wider cross-curricular cross um, collaboration. Because STEM is collaboration between science, technology, engineering, and math. So we have to take the other topics and put all together. So maybe STEM, it's, it's, the, it's the beginning. So it's a good way to, to engage teachers to this more wider cross-curricular col collaboration. Unfortunately, teachers are not very used to, collaborati to collaborate, unless between different curricular areas. So a teacher need to practice, need to change methodologies, and need to, um, to be successful. They have to start on own experience, teachers, on, on their own experience, and to guide them to share this experience through all the process. So they have to embed these cross-curricular activities in their classroom, in their schools. And I work in this specific uh, research center, so what we can do to, is to promote these work collabor collaborations um, through teacher training activities, through networking of teachers, so to create um, teacher um, networks of teachers to, sh to share experience. And also we have to facilitate resources and we have to um, give teachers good, uh, good um, practices, examples of good practices, and also to share and exchange experiences. For example, uh, in online activities, in conference, in webinars, etc. So we have to promote this kind of work between uh, teachers and through examples, through other mm, teachers ha have to see other teachers working in this way. And so they can share and they can learn to, to do this kind of activi activities all together. Mm -hmm.